So let me get this straight. Vegans are the pushy ones? This is a word. So hey, Reg here, and I have a bit of a rant today, and before I even get started, I'm not going to pretend like I'm the first person who has made a video on this topic. I'm not even going to pretend like I haven't approached this topic in some of my other videos, but clearly something happened that has me, like, you know, has my blood boiling a little bit, so I'm going to rant about this. You know, before I even jump in, I just want to point out this, you know, I just, I'm going to jump in. Okay, so this idea that vegans are the pushy ones. Consuming animal products is a part of the dominant cultural mode. It's a part of the dominant culture. So anytime that is being threatened, there's going to be some pushback. So anything a vegan has to say about consuming animal products is going to be seen as, oh my goodness, you just said the most outrageous, radical thing in the world, right? So that's the idea. There are many traditions in our modern and Western culture that center around the consumption of animal products. You know, many of our cultural holidays center around, like you have Thanksgiving and the consumption of turkey, you have Easter with Easter eggs, you have the any number of animals that might be featured on the table uh, at Christmas time, you have lamb and eggs that are, um, you know, very central in, you know, in Passover seders. So it's, you know, built in, the consumption of animal products has been built into many of the traditions. The media also is saturated with images of animal products that are being held up as the secret to our joy, as the secret to being happy. Um, there's mass hysteria over bacon, for example, which, you know, we know you know, it's the well. The World Health Organization came out with the results of several studies that show that processed meats are linked to cancer. They cause cancer, and yet, you know, bacon is everywhere. I see it everywhere being being um, being advertised, being really thrown up, thrown up in our faces as you know, consume you know, eat more bacon, and people, you know, join right in. They get right in step with this you know, march towards the death and destruction, right? I've seen more than once an adult actually shoving animal flesh into the mouth of a child, the child trying to spit it out, and the adult, you know, really forcing it in. So, you know, people are forced to consume meat, and certainly it's not as if you um, can avoid, if you would if you don't want to have the images and ideology of animal consum consumption thrust on you, it's nearly unavoidable in this society. Yet, vegans are the pushy ones. And I remember when I first went vegan how amazed I was by how, you know, suddenly, you know, so many family members and friends turned out to be, you know, nutritionists, turned out to be health es experts. Even people who were, you know, fairly unhealthy would start asking me questions about, you know, where I'm getting my protein. They were never, however, shocked when I would tell them that you can get protein from non-animal sources. You know, it seems to me like, you know, it, it, it never occurred to them like, well, wow, maybe I don't need to consume animal products. That discussion never gets started. It's just simply like, oh, oh okay, well, I'm not, I'm gonna, not gonna make any changes, but uh, it's interesting that that can happen, or maybe skepticism, right? I've even had, I even had one friend who's no longer a friend um, pretty much threaten me to consume dairy products. Like, you know, if you don't consume, you know, dairy products, I'm gonna be mad at you, that kind of a thing. Um, which I thought was pretty strong um, because you, I, don't, I don't know how many vegans go around saying to their family and friends, if you don't go vegan, I'm not gonna be your friend anymore. You know, that's not a thing you, and you don't, you know, when all of the, the spoofs about vegans, all the things you hear said about vegans, you don't hear them saying, I'm not gonna be your friend. I'm going to, I'm going to ice, I'm gonna, you know, we can't be friends if, you, if you're not going to be vegan. Although I think that that's a fair strategy. 
for vegans to say, you know, I can't get down with you if you are going to continue, you know, supporting this violence. Ethan, as you know from the Convertible series, is thinking about going vegan. And um, already I see where some of the fears and some of the anxiety is coming up. He is going to wait, he says, until he gets back from this trip to New York where he's going to be staying with some friends. And I was thinking to myself, well, you know, what would stop you? Why can't you just tell them, you know, you're on a, you know, you're on a, if you don't want to tell them you're vegan, and offend them, just tell them that you're on a very strict diet. Um, they're people who are in the entertainment industry. Tell them you're on a diet because you're losing weight for a role or that you're gaining weight for a role. Whatever it is that you want to tell them that will take the pressure off of you to have to explain why you're eating the way you're eating other than you're, you know, it's for your it's for your career, right? And people tend not to be judgmental when it's something that you do for money, right? Another thing is the fact that his girlfriend is not vegan and she has no interest in being vegan and she doesn't want him to talk about it. And so, again, his girlfriend becomes this very convenient way for him to stay an animal consumer. So clearly, it's, 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 part of a cultural knowledge, a cultural understanding that a reason why people don't go vegan is pressure from people who consume animal products to continue consuming animal products, or at least kind of a fear of ridicule that they might get from people who consume animal products if they stop consuming those products. So again, it's vegans who are pushy. However, this dominant culture keeps trying to like force its way on to people who may be trying to step away from that. Ethan was going to dinner at his girlfriend. His mom was going to be making the dinner and he explained to me that she'd made this pasta. It was probably made with a meat sauce, but he didn't say anything about it. Anyway, before he went to the dinner, I said, you know, really watch out because you may find that the people who continue, who want to consume animals may try to force themselves and force their ideas on you. And this is just something that came to me and I thought, wow, he's going into a situation with, you know, two people who who are animal consumers as someone who's trying to step away from that as a vegan or a vegan curious person. So the next day he shows me the printout that his girlfriend's mother gave him from the Laurel and Leaf wet website uh, an article called Why Being Vegan is Not Healthy. She was so concerned for him that she printed out this article to let him know that he was making a bad choice by going vegan. Um, so really, but if a, if a vegan ever did that, <gasps> You're pushing your ideas on me, right? You're pushing your ideas on me. But again, I think it happens repeatedly that people who are adherents to the dominant culture will constantly push that culture on you. And it's, you know, being how good house niggas, right? Because it might even be somebody who doesn't have that much privilege, right? It might be somebody who is, you know, pretty low status as far as the dominant culture is concerned. But they will do everything to maintain that dominant culture because they want to belong. They want to be part of it. And so, um, as, as usual, however, the negative aspects of the dominant culture are constantly being flipped around and projected onto people who don't adhere to the dominant culture. So people who practice nonviolence are constantly being called violent when they protest nonviolently, right? Nonviolent protests are called violent protests because they are against violent systems, right? People who are against racism are often called racist. Women who are feminist, right, who are, you know, combating sexism and, you know, gender inequality are often called, like, male, ma man haters, right? Man haters in this system that hates women, right? So just to see how that plays out again and again and again. So here we have this stereotype of vegans being pushy and aggressive as they try to make their way cruelty free through this violent, cruel, and exploitative world that we live in. That's it.
for this video. Like it if you like it, share, comment, subscribe. This is Reg signing off. Love yourself. Peace. And I love myself.